Hey peoples, well, it's March's vlog time. I know, I know, I know, before anybody says anything, where was February's? Unfortunately, February, real, real stupidly busy month for me, and I put my hands up. I kept with it so far, even through December, and managed to lose February's vlog. But we're back with March's. What's been going on over the last couple of months? Wow. Uh, Nam, that was fantastic, out at Los Angeles. Um, what a show. Nam, if you don't know, is basically the show of shows. It's the showman's show, i.e. it's all industry related for the industry. All the new products are usually launched at Nam. all the uh, concepts are launched at Nam, etc. And as you know, I'm in the market for a controller. Still, I haven't pulled the trigger. Pioneer came out with the DDJSX, and well, you should have seen the things that were released at NAM to combat it. Or, to, well, yes, to combat it. Um, right the way down to Newmark released the Mix Pack Track Pro 2, which, it, uh, to be honest with you, quality wise, I don't know, I haven't played with one yet, but looks wise, it's very, very similar to the SX. So that was February and NAM. Mobile Beat Las Vegas. Wow, another one. At American in Las Vegas, Mobile Beat. It, to be honest with you, if you're a mobile DJ out in the States, or even a mobile DJ out in Europe, then Mobile Beat is the show to go to. Jam-packed with education, and I mean real education. Seminars, lectures, teaching you all the tricks of the trade, from DMX to video, Right the way up this time was to photography, so that you can photograph moving lights, photograph in low level, all the way across to how to sell yourselves, how to present yourselves, and then the specifics like school dances, hype, etc. Really, Mobile Beat Las Vegas and Setting Las Vegas as well, the place to go to learn. And for all those that say, ah, Las Vegas, ah, it's a plane ride, well, Guess what? You're right, it's a plane ride. It's a thousand pounds investment. I did it on a thousand pounds budget. That was plane tickets, seven nights in the Riviera, not four nights of the show, so you get to see a little bit of Las Vegas as well. That was a little bit of spending money each day as well, but if you use some of your spending money in the casinos, you know what's going to happen. You're either going to lose it or you're going to double it up and have more spending money that day. That's down to you and Lady Luck, though. But £1,000, that also included my food, and I even came back with a few presents for my good lady and my two kids who suffer when I disappear. So, really, Las Vegas, £1,000, and a show like that to go to, it's a no-brainer. Really, really worth it. Look out for Mobile Beat next year. Also coming up this year, the ADDJA show. ADDJ, ADDJ show. Uh, that's in Vegas, that's in September, and again, I reckon you could get it in for between a thousand and a thousand two hundred and fifty pounds budget. And believe me, what you learn at that show, you will earn that thousand, thousand two hundred and fifty pounds straight back. So, really worth it. And on top of that, you write it off against the tax man. Go on holiday, courtesy of the tax man. What else have we going on this month? These babies. I'm going to do a separate video about these though. It's the American Audio Sense Range. It's my new PA. You can probably tell if you know me my height. On top of there, that's a 1x12. That one there is a 15 inch sub. And underneath it is another 15 inch sub. That makes up one side of my speaker stack. And I'm absolutely in love with them. I uh, fired them in anger at the weekend for the first time really. Dialed them in and fired them in a big hall so that I could actually get the crossover points right and everything because I'm running them through triamping, three amps, running them through triamping. But to be honest with you, even if you're relying on the crossovers that are in the speakers, a real nice sound coming from them. Compliments at the weekend, to be honest with you. Like I said, first time I fired them in anger, had a singer who paid to use my PA and go through my gear. And when he did his sound check, well, the reaction off him was fantastic. He turned around and he said, this is better than anything I carry. This is beautiful. And it's good old American audio, the Sens range. 
But that's enough for this month, enough of wafflings that's been going on. Coming up next month, we're in March at the moment, very, very beginning of the month, we'll try and bring you a review back from Plaza, that's Plaza Leeds, another one that's worth a trip if you're anywhere around the north of England. Go up to Plaza Leeds, it's a free show at the moment, as long as you get your registration in quick. And again, it's industry based mainly, but the players are there, all the big players are there, from Clay Packy, Chevet, American DJ, Elation, right the way down to a, a few of the smaller players. Um, one of the guys I use for all my gobos is called Projected Image, he'll be up there. It's, it's worth a look round, to be honest with you. It's a show that's worth a look round, and again, a little bit of education there. It seems the UK is gaining all these ideas of it's not just about sell your goods, it's about put something back into the community and offer some lectures, offer some seminars, educate the people. At the end of the day, they may have just realised if we educate people, they know they need better, they need to do better, and they'll be able to sell some of their kit to them as well. Till next month, catch you soon. Take care.